What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 44 of fo, the King's fo. Speech Podcast. Trev and Josh in the building. What's good, sir? How are you? I am doing well, man. How you doing? I feel great. <laughs> it feels good to be right. <laughs> it feels good to be vindicated. Anybody who doubted when I said Condola was pregnant, eat your words. It's eat, a, um, eat all of them. It has to be a different feeling when you get something on wax. Yeah, I was I was so glad I got the opportunity to yeah, also. Yeah. Cause when I initially had the thought, I didn't talk about it that week because we, you know, did our old like social injustice and crazy shit happening episode. Been going on. Yeah. So yeah. then the, the next week, last episode, I was able to get no wax and feels good. Yeah, it was it was it was it was uh it was a good call, man. It it, it sounds like you came from a place of um experience. It did not come from a place of experience. I've okay. never been in that situation. Okay. Right. You could, you see it coming from a mile away. I'm like, how did Trevor smell the pregnancy on Condola like that? I was telling um, one of my friends who commented on the video. Actually, she hit me up today. She was like, you really spoiled it. And I was like, I've been saying yo, this shit for three saying, weeks. Like, we were spoiling it. And it was like, yo, like y'all don't watch the show. Exactly. Y'all don't, come, y'all don't, like, y'all don't say, yo, I think she's pregnant. But the th- we, And we put the clip out before the season finale. We didn't spoil anything. So it's not like we put it out right, right after. We didn't, we didn't spoil, spoil we shit. We made speculations, and it just so happened that my man was right, and I kind of knew he was going to be right. But I didn't want, I didn't want that. But I knew that that's how life happens. Everybody, okay, when you think shit's sweet, everybody was curious. Everybody I, had their predictions about what it was that yeah. Condola wanted. Some people thought that she just wanted Lawrence back, but I knew she didn't really want him back. The first time that she wanted to speak to Lawrence, mm-hmm. that's when we thought like it was going to be a big message. And then like the next episode, he kind of just glazed over it. He's like, yeah, I support her. Everything's fine, which which was a fact. Mm-hmm. But like, they kind of like, they dragged this a little. I felt like they dragged this. Like, so we kind of was expecting a big, big announcement, and then they're like, oh yeah, like she's cool. So then when they kind of circled back, I thought that was kind of dumb, low key. I think it should have always been Condola has something to say, and Lawrence hasn't met her yet. Well, because now they had two conversations. I think Lawrence was avoiding it, right? Like he was going through so many good things with Issa. It felt so good. He didn't want to fuck it up. Even but he if had he had it though, he had the combo. But not that combo. But not that combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he had like the let's go our separate ways. I think they're like alluding that like maybe she found out later. She probably, I, I think Whatever, she knew. But... I think when she was initially contacting Lawrence and was like, hey, like, I want to see you. Hey, can you come over? Because it was late at night and she was still that was fine the, with him that was coming the energy. over that was the en- I, at any point in time. You thought the energy was for something else? Um, Lawrence's, Lawrence's energy, the way he was checking his phone at the restaurant. That yeah. was the energy of like I got something lined up. Lawrence is like I'm always. I don't, I don't know what the energy is, by the way. I'm, I'm always. Energy, <laughs> it looked. I'm for every team, Lawrence, but Lawrence is like a good guy scumbag. Lawrence is like the prototypical like good guy scumbag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He but likes I... the attention. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I just got into a bag. It's gotten into your bag. No, no, not my bag. <laughs> I think every guy has like played I the role. Been Lawrence so many times. <laughs> I think every guy's played the role of a low-key scumbag at some point in time in their life. Like a good guy scumbag. Like you're not yeah. really moving like a scumbag, but... Remember when they exposed it? All right, so that, the reason why I thought that was so funny just now uh-huh. is because remember when they exposed it? Like it was like a big thing in Insecure when I forget who, but basically like she was just like told Lawrence, like you're like a... Oh, the shorty from the bank. Yeah, shorty from the yeah. bank was like, yo, you're a bad guy in a nice guy's body or whatever the case may yeah. be. And that was like a shot... To everyone like me, <laughs> like because like they came for us. They're like, yo, yeah, pretty much. Like this is how you give. Like if you're moving like this, this is what you are. Because you're doing. And so all the girls are like, yo, you're a scumbag. And I'm like, yeah, oh, you just seen the episode Insecure, relax. Because like, it's like you're doing the good things with the woman, and like you're hanging out with her friends or her family or whatever. But yo, in the back of your mind, he was at the picnic, mind, the picnic such- and he got there late, <laughs> and then he had to leave early, and. He was just like giving all these excuses to her, and then she finally figured out like this is not the good guy I thought it was. And then it was he. Listen, he was dating her way too quick anyway. Yeah, he, he way literally, too soon. literally after he left the spot, he was digging her back out like an hour later, right after he left Issa. Lawrence in that season finale probably is he's probably the best character on um, Insecure. The best? If I, no, no, like like he has the best job, <laughs> like 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 the best character to play. Because it's like, yo, you just bounce. Like, he's never without. Lawrence was never been without. That's In very five true. seasons, Lawrence, he lost some, then he got some, then he he never, like, there was never a time when Lawrence was like, yo, taking a big L. 
Oh, he took that big L when he caught that uh Oh, that, that was STD. his biggest L. And yeah. who bounces back better than finding Condola, who some might think she's a prize? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, Lawrence is, like, his character wins he's lucky. the majority of the time. He's a very lucky guy. Very lucky. Molly, very fortunate. Not so much. No. Ooh, yeah. Ugh, that was tough to watch. I knew it was coming. I wanted I wanted it to zing her. I'm so petty. I wanted him to zing her more, though. But he's but he's not that guy though. He's not. He's that not. Dude. You know why? He's the best. I keep saying this. He's the best boyfriend I've ever seen in my life. This guy is stand up. Listen, you gonna put him before you? Nah. All right then. So come on, <laughs> so, come, on. <laughs> come on. So I would say he's the third best. With the whole Molly situation, yes. it was just painful to sit her watch there, like begging and like tugging at like the smallest strings to try to fix some shit. Oh, she couldn't even. She didn't even know what to do. No. What do you want? Are you here because you want this? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, if there was ever a time to be certain about how you feel about something, the bullet's at your head. What's yeah. up? Do you want to be with... It? Are you in this for the right reasons? And she failed miserably. And I and I am just tired of Molly. Tired. I, I, I understand that completely. And even the situation where they were at, like, the work party and he wanted to bounce and she wanted to stay out. We've all been there. I'm usually the nigga that, that wants to go weird, home. That was a weird vibe. Because he probably feels like in those situations, in those similar situations, he's always done what she wanted to do. Like if she always. wanted to bounce, yeah, yeah. that bounced. was that was a display. If of, she wanted to stay, yeah, he stayed. I'm tired you know? of doing everything you want me to do. I get it, I get it. Yeah, and then they got back to the crib, and he wants to watch TV, but she wants to ra- relax. And she was like, "Nana, you can't watch TV if yep. I'm going to relax." Let me tell you something. I get that though. Where he, where so like why he got tight? I understand 100 percent why he got tight. Uh-huh. When you're watching a show, show with your girl. And you have to wait to watch the next episode, like on her. Mm-hmm. It's the worst thing ever. Like my girl, like she has like two episodes, three episodes max. After that, it's like no more. And I'm a binger. And you'll so, go through the whole season. Yeah. So if I want to yeah. get busy, I can get busy. T- like if I want to. Mm-hmm. And Andrew was trying to get busy, and, she, and he had to wait. And she wanted to take a nap. I was like, what? I get him. He was tight. But what she could do in that situation is, I don't. We're digging way deep into this, but she could just like go sit on a couch, couch with him as he puts the TV show on, and like every single woman in the world does, just fall asleep in the middle of the show. <laughs> it's cool. It's fine. <laughs> you never wanted to watch in the first place. We took mad long scrolling on Netflix to pick this show in the first place. Like I get it. I didn't love the season finale because we got to like I. I wish that we kind of got to Tiff in episode nine. Mm. Right, like. Don't waste my time looking for this mom right now, <laughs> like in the season finale. But like, like we've been building up this Molly and this Issa and this and that. So like, I felt like we could have given a good focus on all of that and leave the distraction of Tiffany. I get the, that Tiffany leaving brought Molly and Issa together, but I didn't even yes. want Molly and Issa to be together in the first place. I think it was a good, I think it was good because they're on the bus and when they're on the bus, they're talking to, um... What's homeboy's name? Tiffany's husband's He's name. He's a good dude too. Yes, he is. They're talking to oh, him. Okay. And in real actuality, they're talking to each other, right? Like they're yes, yes, they're yes. saying, hey, everything is going to be all right. Hey, you fight for what you want. And they're talking to each other about their friendship and the things that they could possibly do to make it better. I have to rewatch that because I wasn't, I, I think I was a little bit just like kind of annoyed. So I didn't like, mm-hmm. really piece that they were um, talking at each other. Yeah, they it, it, to each other. It just seemed like that was the um, that was the message that they were trying to send, right? Like they have these problems, and these are probably the things that they should be saying to each other. And it just so happens that they're in this situation, and they're looking for their friend who's going through postpartum depression. And they, um, Derek, yeah, Derek. his name is Derek, Derek, yeah, and they're supporting Derek, consoling Derek, being great friends and support to Derek. And these are things they should be saying to each other, and they're kind of saying it to each other through Derek. It looks like they're going to work things out. I hope so. Which is, you know, this is, respectfully, what happens all the time. Girls get into, like, little fights, and you think it's the end of the world, and you think you have to pick a side, because, like, they're now in this beef. And guess what? Next week, they're besties again at the cafe. Because, you know, what they bond over, women bond over nigga problems. Yeah. Oh, what? Your man has a what? Oh, this is good tea. Women bond over nigga problems. The group chat is bumping right now. Oh, yes. On fire. Like, it hasn't been in months. Condola, are you sure? Da, 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 da. Are you and sure? And he's moving. Da, 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 da. You gonna be a stepmom? Da, is da, it? Da, da, da. Is it his? Is it his? Are you gonna get it tested? Are you gonna stay with him? But I put out the question on my Instagram of whether or not Issa should stay with Lawrence. Right? Try to work this shit out as messy as it may be. 
Um, I got a few responses. Most of them started with an N, ended with an O. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I, I, I understand. I mean, I don't understand. I'm a guy. Like I'll, I'd ne- I'll never be in that position, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I got one response from a homegirl, Wendy. She said, "More information is needed." Yeah. yeah. That's More cool. information is needed because they have been extremely happy with each other. Right. And I think that's a good point. And Issa kind of usually runs away from Lawrence whenever he has problems or issues. This is not. <laughs> this ain't a nigga don't got a job issue, though. <laughs> this is 18 years. 18 years. This is, <laughs> this is a kid. This I is got, a kid on the way. I, I got this another response is, that said, nope, with a thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a tough decision, man. Listen, um, I'm I'm so torn on this, right? I look at both sides, right? So I think um, Issa being there for Lawrence and like realizing they're in a better groove right now, and this is exactly what she wanted, and they have a second opportunity. I think if you believe in love and the love that you have with this person, you chase you chase this. Is love enough, though? Hey, man. If the, like I said, if you believe in love. If this is what you about, then you go then you go after that. But if you believe in happiness and like having your own family and your own like love in a if your love looks different, if your love looks like I want to start my own family, I don't want to be a stepmom, I don't want to have a baby mama drama situation, then you have every right to make a decision on whether you want to stay or you want to go. I think it's ultimately up to you and what you're capable of. But then you got to think about Issa's options right now, right, Sue? Because it's Lawrence who's about to have a baby, and it's Nathan, who's bipolar. That's not your only <laughs> options, man. Okay? It's not that bad. Okay? There's, 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 there's healthy brothers out there with no kids and good mental health. Like, she's okay, bro. She can take a couple weeks in off LA? of dating. And find, you gonna find LA, like LA is the worst place to date. Let me tell All you right. something right now. That's what I'm now. saying. The worst place to date. 